Yo, what is going on guys? It's Garth here from Murphy's Film and today I'm going to bring you a quick video about Yashica's new camera. Yes, they are back from the dead. But is this Digifilm thing that they're talking about as big as they're living up to or was the hype a bit of a letdown? Let's turn around, have a look at the Kickstarter and let's see. Right, so this is the Kickstarter that they've brought up. They've actually smashed the goal already, which I'm pretty impressed at. So I'll be leaving a link to this Kickstarter down in the link below if you want to go and have a look. When I first seen this today around my lunchtime, which was 12 o'clock GMT, originally had the camera stated as it was 1.4 megapixel, which it isn't, it's 14 megapixel. It is kind of a digital camera, it's kind of not. If you guys want to go watch this video, um, as I say, link down below. But let's have a look at what it's saying. So, we've got about this project, silence and story, yada yada yada, we are Yashika, we've been around for 70 years. And this is where it gets interesting, it's this digifilm camera. It's a, what they're calling a digifilm camera. So if we carry on going down, what they're saying is that this digifilm is a way to bring back film without the process of film. So they're offering different variables of the film. They're, they're doing a 1600 high speed film, which would be for like, you know, low, low lighting conditions, stuff like that. You've got a black and white, which looks similar to a tri -Xy kind of HP5 kind of look. They're calling it a retro style photography. You've got some what looks like Kodak Gold 200, the kind of 200 daylight speed film. And this 120 format 6x6, which I don't quite understand because it's only a 35mm camera. But this one shoots 6x6 anyway. So as you can see, you've got a look at the camera here. You, you've got the dimensions and stuff. From, when, from watching the video, you do have to take the shot and then wind the winder on as if, you would it, as if it was film. So here we've got some the spec of the camera. It's got CMOS sensor, as you can see, 40 megapixel camera, built-in viewfinder, a 35mm f2.8 aperture lens, which is quite interesting because I'd quite like to see how it, how sharp the lens actually is. I mean, as we can see up here, we've got some sample images, but they're always going to do the best with the sample images, so I'd quite like to see how it works like in the real world. So yeah, same again, minimum dope, minimum blah, blah, blah. Minimum focus distance of the lens is 1 meter or 3 feet, which then goes to infinity. It's only got 5 shutter speeds, which I, I find really weird. I, I get that they're trying to kind of make it an automatic camera, so anyone can just pick it up and use it. But I'm not sure if only having 5 shutter speeds is the way to go with that. So here you've got a quick di diagram of how the camera will actually work. You pop the little digifilm thing. It's weird saying that. You pop that in the back of the camera and then that basically gives you what kind of look you're going to get while you're shooting with that digifilm. You've got to wind on in between shots and that's basically it. So I'm going to turn back around. So the way I see this camera, it's kind of like giving someone a DSLR that focuses like a rangefinder. Imagine you had a digital Leica. I've never shot one on myself, but let's just use an example. Imagine you got a digital Leica and a, you put your SD card in and that SD card is pre, is, has Lightroom presets on. That's how I imagine this camera to shoot, as if you're putting Lightroom presets on your image before you get your image. So it's kind of doesn't really make sense to me. There was a lot of hype around this camera and I thought we were gonna get another genuine 35 mil camera in, in like 2017, but it doesn't seem to be like that. So with that, it's a bit of a disappointment to me, but I want to know how you guys feel about this camera, how you feel about the hype around it, because I know myself, I was personally pretty hyped. If I could get a review sample, I'd love to shoot the camera, but at the minute, I don't think I'm going to back it, purely because A, I don't have the money, and it's not what I was expecting from them, so to be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed, and a few of the guys who spoke to on Instagram are also a bit disappointed, so that's just the way life is. <laughs> One big disappointment. So... I'm sorry about that. So as I say, let me know what you guys think of this camera down in the comments below. Link to the Kickstarter if you want to go have a look down in the crotch bar. It's been Garth here from Murphy's Film, and I'll speak to you guys later. Sorry this was a bit of a quick impromptu video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless. Peace out.